Growing up, I was always singing in school shows and all that sort of thing, as you do. Um, but because I was so busy, I didn't really pursue it as much. I'm Rachel Waters, and I'm from Kelso in the Scottish Borders. It's just a small town. It's not the it's not the biggest of places. There's lots of nice countryside and things, though, so that makes it it makes it kind of cute. <laughs> I started playing when I was about, I don't know, six or seven. By the time I was 11 or so, I was like training nearly every day. And then I got selected for, uh, to play for the Scotland squad. Because I was playing so much, I was always complaining about the, the knees. The, the eventually, I eventually got x-rays and things and they realized that it was um, osteochondritis. All the cartilage in my knees was just going. And it was obviously from playing so much and training so much and, and whatever else. If I didn't stop doing any sport or anything like that, then I would I'd potentially end up having to just always be in a wheelchair or some sort of knee replacement or something like that. I don't know what they would have done. So yeah, I had to completely stop sport. I'm really it's going to drop out. Having the injury meant that I um, had a lot more time and I got into helping out with music in school and, and doing a lot more singing and basically that, that was completely what replaced the badminton. It became, uh, it became about the music from quite early on. Really. After I finished high school I started doing the uh, vocal diploma in Edinburgh and it was underneath Red Dog Music. It was really nice actually to just feel the kind of city vibe and, and just be, you know, mooching through all the, the music shop stuff and then be going down and, and just learning a bit more about um, actual vocal training and things like that, so it was, it was fun. All I knew was that I wanted to, to sing and to be writing songs, so I felt that where I was wasn't necessarily the best place. It's a great place, but not necessarily the place to take it further. So, um, you know, Manchester, sprung to mind and, and that's that's was sort of my next step is, is how was I going to go about you know making the move to to the city and and starting to carve a music career. Manchester is just obviously renowned for its its music scene um, you know so many bands are so iconic. What I was struck by was just there's a lot of people who want to do what you want to do. If you want to if you want to do it you're gonna have to you know know what it is that you're you're aiming for and and, and try and, and get out there and be playing be playing in these places and, and meeting people even though it's a big city compared to where I'm from anyway um, there's a sense of community and, and you start to know people from whether it be venues or just different different bands different scenes so I think that's the thing about Manchester is that that's what sort of kept me here as well. It's brought me here and it's also what's helped me to cultivate it. I'd say one of the struggles with uh, getting into the scene is that you can kind of do a lot of empty gigs and I don't just mean nobody there. I think sort of pointless in the extent of your progression. They'd be good for you to practice. It's always good for you to play lots of live stuff and get that and get that feel for what you're doing. But if you're rehearsing enough and knowing your thing anyway, you should be able to turn up and do that anywhere. Next week, I have a gig in the uh, Northern Quarter again, and it's at the Castle Hotel. This gig's the first of the year for a star, and it is supporting Natalie McCool, who is a sort of emerging uh, alternative pop artist. She's got so much of a following you know on social media as well as her gigs and she's doing a sort of tour the people that she'll have there are really keen on it and, and want to be there supporting her naturally with it being a gig that I'd find quite important um, and you know a, a big a big step in terms of the gigs that we've played already I feel there's a sense of pressure in terms of the the prep for the gig as well as the gig itself you want to you want to really nail it you need to get it right and um, and trying to fit in enough practice before the gig uh, in, in the time is also a pressure in itself. So it's just, there's just that sense of, let's just, let's just nail it really.
I don't see and all I know is that I can never be myself.